in this run, enemies got every item I got, but they were all multiplied by 10. Go check out Raydan's vid if you want to see it done with just one times all items and in Eclipse, but I do not possess that skill, so Gudako shall attempt to help me out. Can we do it? That is the question. I am unsure. That is, that is something we're going to find out today. Am I going to be able to beat Risk of Rain 2 while enemies also get my items and they're all multiplied by 10? Time will tell. Also, this is my first time playing Engineer with mouse and keyboard since the Switch, so I get to do my little jiggly jiggly when I'm doing that. Let's grab our first item in an energy drink. Obviously, we are going to be able to take advantage of the energy drink much more than these guys are. So that's what we're going to do. Since enemies can't sprint energy drinks, uh, we're actually going to... I was going to get Wungus today, right? Because Wungus technically is going to be helpful because enemies can't use it. But you know what enemies also can't really use? Bungus. And so my turrets most certainly can. So I'm going to be looking for Bungus today. The second item we're going for is a Cautious Slug. Now if you look at the right side of my screen, okay... You can see that the uh, monster's items are a little bit funky. I don't know if they all show up. I'm hoping that it's working, but it may not. I'm going to assume that all of the items are shared even if they don't show up. But hey, maybe they don't, and that is sad if that's the case. Because now you can see Energy Drink and Bungus, but we don't see, obviously, the Cautious Slug. So I'm hoping it works. If not, they're going to have some of our items. All right, another one here. Here's the thing. I don't know 100% what I want to do. Topaz Brooch is helpful because they can't really take good use of it unless they obviously kill one of my drones, which is something I will be trying to avoid at the best of my ability. But I do think Bungus is going to be something that we really do have to stack because obviously not only can our turrets get it, but our turrets can help us while we're around the field. So we can do something like this, set up a giant sphere or, you know, Venn diagram and make sure we are good to go on our own healing front. Okay, so here I found an issue with Bungus. If enemies stay still, like these guys are doing, they are healing all of their friends. So I'm a little bit worried about what we're doing here. We can kill, but already we have found an issue with this plan. Because see, look at this guy. Look at the Bungus that he's got. This guy right here. I have to be able to one-shot him. This beetle then is easy, but now that he stood still immediately, any enemy that is standing still is going to get the Bungus. We may have to turn it into Wungus. All right, for our first green, ooh, I'm going to do Will-O-Wisp. Now, of course, you can see that our monster items have changed again. Weird. I don't know why that is, but Will-O-Wisp is something I think, unless they kill, again, a turret of ours, is something only we can really take advantage of. We are also going to grab fireworks, because obviously that's something enemies certainly can't take advantage of. So every time we touch a chest or a little guy, we're going to send, I think, what is it, 44 fireworks into the air who are going to do our bidding for us. I'm also going to grab Monster Tooth, because, uh, again, something they can't really benefit from, and everything that can benefit me and not them is something I'm going to enjoy. And I think I'm going to go Ignition Tank. Let's just get, let's just really lean into the on-kill effects. Let's lean into the gasoline. Did I not pick that up? Thank you so much. Lean into everything they can't take advantage of. Again, those items on the side, they're weird. I hope they're working. If not, hey, we still have a good amount of our items. Okay, somebody is standing still near here. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I'm worried, uh, very worried about the Bungus right now. Uh, what I will get is a backup mag. Now, Will, is that a bad idea? Maybe. Maybe it is, right? Because enemies do technically have a secondary skill. But with a backup mag, I don't know if they can use it any faster. That's something we are going to have to find out on our own. Let's grab our equipment here. This is going to be something free that only we can get. So I got to be honest, I don't even know what we want to get here. That's, ooh, this is actually tough. I think we grab a gun for now because I have a yellow item that is going to be very helpful. Speaking of yellow item, let's hit teleporter. Let's put one down and two down. Wandering Vagrant, let's just get everything we... Wait, no, hold on. That was close. I really wanted the yellow item. We have a green and a yellow. Yellow. We are going to do... Where is it? Little Disciple. So this is good. That means we get Little Disciple going out there. Enemies shouldn't be able to sprint, technically. 
so we could be okay. We're also going to do a Hopu Feather, because enemies, they can jump, and it, honestly, it'll just kind of be funny if they use them. Well, I don't know, though. Okay, our stage one is done. I have just realized I have been putting you guys out of damage numbers. What am I doing? I'm being foolish. We're off to stage two, and here's what we're doing. Okay, I know we get, we're going to get a legendary at some point in this run, right? Stage four, we're guaranteed to get one. There are two legendaries we are very much on the lookout for, one of which being Head Stompers. Stops us from fall damage, we can do damage. I don't think enemies are smart enough to take advantage of Head Stompers. The other one being Pocket ICBM. I'm not going to pick up Plimp, I'm not going to pick up ATG, but this guy, this guy benefits from some Pocket ICBM, so that is something we will be grabbing for sure. I am a little bit at a loss of what to grab for more... Uh, white items, right? A lot of these are a little bit funky. I'm gonna grab a roll of pennies just because that's kind of a safe option at the moment. I don't really know what I want to stack. I might stack fireworks for a little bit. I'm gonna do a couple of those. I don't want to give the enemies anything that they can use. Also, we do get free bands. However, I do not think that is something I want to do. I don't think free bands is gonna be something we want to take advantage of because that's scary. And enemies can proc bands. Not every enemy, but some enemies most certainly can. And I don't like that. Oh, we never actually grabbed gasoline? What am I doing? How have I never grabbed gasoline? I'm going to do two gasolines here just in a row so we can get a lot of area of effect. For some reason, I thought I grabbed them, but I grabbed a will-o'-wisp and not gasoline. Uh, there are a lot of these items. I don't want to give them any pure damaging items. I'm tempted to do one goat hoof. But again, that'll be 10 goat hooves. Do I want to give enemies 10 goat hooves? I don't know. I may regret this, but I'm going to get a soldier syringe, right? That's going to help out my turrets a ton and obviously help the enemies a lot. I don't know exactly how fast they're going to be shooting, but I know it's going to be quick. Hopefully that wasn't a big mistake. Green item, squid, polyp. Again, an interactable... Enemies can't use that. Enemies cannot touch Squid Polyp, so that's a safe one. Bandolier, also a safe one. I'm kind of just, for greens, there are kind of a lot that I can use. White items, I'm not sure. Greens, there are a lot that I can use. I really do not know here. Some of these kind of freak me out a little bit. I don't want Stun Grenade. That's scary. Bleed is tempting, but it means they will bleed me. I'm going to do a Rusted Key for a free item because that's again something they can't really take use of but it doesn't really help me a whole lot another green berserkers pauldron is going to be good they aren't going to have a chance to kill four enemies in quick succession or what is it is it uh, yeah four enemies that'll only help us i don't know if we'll get like a ton of use out of it but i have to keep them from getting strong all right i grabbed a couple more bungus we are now at what is that 40 bungus i'm kind of hoping that enemies really can't make use out of this because 50 bungus is horrifying uh obviously massive w for us but a massive w for enemies all it takes is like one enemy kind of standing still on the side of a map unless we can one shot everything then it changes things let's spawn the boss i need to get in the ground so i can place these guys right here clay dune strider okay little d is really putting in the work right now that's helpful i think we can afford two maybe move into more damage and be some watches some crowbars perhaps maybe even something like bleed although that scares me but for here i am going to grab a fuel cell of course we don't actually have an equipment right now but when we do that's something that's going to help us immensely stage two is all finished i think we've actually looted the whole place we have our intense speed so we can actually loot quite quickly i'm going to try a couple of funky items next stage there are a couple i have in mind I don't know exactly how they work with enemies, but I'm very interested to find out. Unfortunately, just a green here. Uh, but for green, let's do regen scrap. One of the weird items I want to try is War Banner. War Banner, not bad uh, if you stack them a lot for one character. But enemies do level up. I don't know if they get to use War Banner when they level up, but they most certainly level up. So I guess we'll find out. I'm also going to try Mocha. I don't know if they'll get you some mocha, but it's certainly there on the right side of the screen. So they're going to be faster. They're going to be attacking faster, and I'm going to double it because screw it. We get another equipment, which is huge. What do we want out of here? I'm going to do 
Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta leave. Oh! Oh, he's so... <laughs> oh, they are fast. Okay. Now that we know that they are speedy, speedy, fast, fast, let's pick our equipment accordingly. I'm gonna do Primordial Cube for now so that enemies can't necessarily move that fast if I really don't want them to. I'm gonna get a Focus Crystal as well. I don't really think it's gonna be that helpful. Armor Piercing Rounds is actually a great item. I don't know why I didn't think of that. I don't count as a boss, I don't think. Armor Piercing Rounds, free win versus Teleporter. All right, I've stacked a bunch of Armor Piercing Rounds. I feel like we need a little bit of defense. I'm kind of a glass cannon right now. Obviously, we're doing very well. We have a ton of money. Nothing is really hurting us, but... Oh, that's a gold portal. We don't want to go there. But I don't really want to risk getting, like, one shot by anything. Let's do a shipping request form. Let's stack those up a couple of times. Here, I think we risk something funky. Do we do a tougher times? Do we do a repulsion armor? Maybe a power elixir? I'm going to do repulsion. And I'm curious what it looks like now that I have this. If enemies still are kind of getting one shot, it's kind of what I'm hoping for. Or if they're a little scary. Here we go. Our first void item is interesting. Okay. Interesting. What do we want to do here? I really don't want to give the enemies any of these yet. So let's grab Lysate Cell. I understand I have Fuel Cell, but I think a third turret is going to be more helpful. I don't have the infinite turrets on, I don't think. So I think I only have three turrets maximum. But enemies also get a little bit of a use out of that if they happen to have a special skill. Should we also, per chaps, give ourselves an opal? That's going to help us. And we just need to hit enemies twice now to break through their opal. And it's not a huge deal. And I'm going to give myself a med kit. Do wow, these enemies are actually so fast. Med kit, I don't think will break anything. I don't even know if it'll be useful for me, but it's something we can pick up that's not going to kill us. Okay, I think that is it. We are ready for a teleporter. We're going quick. These are really fast stages to loot. As long as I'm sprinting, I think Little Disciple can do most of the work here. As long as... Oh, it doesn't do that much. Okay, oh, it does. Oh, my. Okay, let's... I feel like Tougher Times is not the play, but a little bit more damage reduction. Maybe a Leeching Seed out of here, actually. Could be interesting. Let's put my, so put my turrets down. Can I only put three down? Yes. Okay, so we do... I'm glad we don't have that mod on. I feel like that would be a little bit broken. But we at least have three turrets. And then our squid turrets are chilling around as well. Uh, these guys also have the bungus. We are doing enough damage to not make that an issue yet. Look at this guy just, just tanking the fire. Look at him go. I mean, he's bungusing. That's for sure. And he's gone. <laughs> I mean, that's the power. If they can harness a couple of the items I give them, I'm scared. See, this is the type of battle where if he doesn't move... Oh my gosh, how fast is that laser? That we... Okay, we just gotta get lucky. Once he moves, then we're free. But <laughs> that healing is a little spooky. Let's move on to stage four. We'll get our first red. Wow, look at the war banners go. Very excited for our first red. Hopefully, we maybe get two or three throughout the run. And maybe... Maybe just because we're looking to get a little funky, we can add some procs. Oh, look at the Stone Titan. Oh, he's, oh, he's going. Oh, he's going. Oh, he is moving. Let's get our Focus Crystal involved. Very cool. And I think we have the speed. We have a little bit of damage reduction. I think we go tougher times Teddy. I am uh, a little bit frightened about getting hit by something while I'm picking up an item. But now we have 10 tougher times, which puts us at a 60% chance. That's good, and certainly not going to make the enemies invincible by any means. Let's grab another green. I know there are a couple. Let's do Left and Daisy. That'll help us during Teleporter. We have 200,000 gold, so let's go in here and grab our, uh, our Legendary. I think we're going to start off with... I'm not going to do a Dio's. That's a terrible idea. I think we are... He, okay, I'm, I'm, at a, I'm gonna do Headstoppers. I'm gonna start with Headstoppers. That's gonna be number one. I don't know if we necessarily need the Pocket ICBM because we aren't really using our missiles very much, but it's tempting. Guillotine, another green that helps us and not the enemy, so that's gonna be good. Uh, we have a free red right here. Hold on. This is great news. I'm gonna let Little Disciple do his thing. I haven't even used my turrets yet. Let's put some of those down. Actually, let him do some stuff. And now, we can get that pocket ICBM. So now, of course, our fireworks are doubled. Our little disciple is unaffected. But now, 
our shift ability uh, is now uh, times three for all projectiles. So you can see the massive amount we have thrown up is going to be great. I also think that we should probably just do teleporter. I'm also definitely going to do mountain shrine. We're going to go do teleporter because we most certainly have enough money to loot the entire stage. Let's see. We have stone titan. They're going to be really fast. Uh, okay. So yeah, they're not. Look at their health. Look at the health because of the bungus. They held on for a while. We get another yellow item. We'll grab a different one this time. Maybe something like a neural? I don't know. That might goof us up. I'll look around. We could do something stupid and go for a Genesis loop. However, that's an awful idea. <laughs> As we kill enemies, every single one of them is going to, at an insane attack speed, throw those at me. I think that's an easy way to lose the run straight up. So let's not do that. Empathy cores, I think every single enemy is going to have a pair of empathy cores. That's also horrifying. I don't really want to give a mold perforator or charged perforator, but the, it would be chaotic. Shattered Spleen isn't really helpful for either because we don't really have bleed. Although, Shatter Spleen does mean that because they're not really killing stuff, they're not going to witness the area of effect. I think they might go Shatter Spleen. Beetle, beetle Guard, your Queen's Gland for a Beetle Guard would be very funny. Also, don't think I'm going to go that direction. I'll decide. I think we are going to do Shatter Spleen. I, I like this idea. I don't really think they can use it. So we'll just continue to loot the stage. A lot of these items I don't really know what we want to get. I feel like Personal Shield Generator could be fun. Oh, you know what? Let's do Bleed. Let's do 100% Bleed. So now enemies can bleed me at their whim. Oh, we got another red. Now, I know there are other reds we can do. We can do Wake of Vultures. That's no problem. Spare drone parts, most certainly helpful. Even Scorpion's going to be good. I'm going to, for now, do Interstellar Desk Plant. Obviously not something enemies can take advantage of at all, but that'll be somewhat helpful. I mean, healing isn't... Hello? Healing isn't really an issue for us right now, but... Hopefully it continues to not be an issue with those. Now we've gotten almost one of every item. So I'm going to keep things simple. I'm not going to grab either of these two because that's just a terrifying thought. I think I'm going to do another Cautious Slug. Because we love Cautious Slugs here. So why not just go to Lockbox? I want a red. Give. Oh, that's okay. We have a lot of greens to choose from. I've been stacking the ship and request form, but I think Rose Buckler actually is going to be huge. A lot of sprinting going on here. What do we want? I think we're going to want a, uh, oh, we could probably just skip pillars. So I don't know if we need a pillar skip. This is interesting. You know what we should do? I'm going to pick Ocular HUD because obviously we have Shatter Spleen. Ocular HUD allows us to use that Shatter Spleen to its fullest potential which is huge. I was looking for a red out of this thing. I didn't see one, so now it's just going at Mach 8. Looking like a white item. Uh, we're just gonna do, I guess, another backup mag. Haven't really been using my minds, but I should. I am going to... I might regret this. I'm probably gonna regret this mostly against Mithrix, but I'm gonna grab 10 Power Elixirs. I just think this is gonna be goofy silly, and that's kind of why we're here. The final item on the stage is another green Let's Shipping request form. I would love some reds, you know? That would be something that I would very much enjoy. So why not do what we need to do to get there? Stage 5. We are feeling good right now. We have very few issues so far. Is the construct is going to be insanely quick. And I do not like that at all. But we do damage. We do <laughs> damage. We do damage indeed. So as long as we can keep that up, maybe we grab like one or two more Will-O-Wisps to get that up higher. We could be okay. Did I just see that Gup going a million miles an hour? Hello, Gup. You are very slow. Oh, whoa, whoa, he's moving. Okay. So enemies do move quite fast. Obviously, the grandparent is not going to be one of those that moves quick. I don't know if I can kill a grandparent. That is one of my, my issues. I don't know if it's possible. Oh! Ladies and gentlemen, I was killed by a lesser wisp. Do I know? How it occurred? Absolutely not. I can only assume it was maybe the bleed. I really have no idea because I'm looking at the items here, right? A lesser wisp. I lost 20 of my empty bottles. <laughs> that 
is wild. We might as well give it one more go. We are going in once again, this time with Huntress. And there are a couple reasons for this. One, auto-aim. There will be no stray wisps hanging about. The other reason is that almost all of Huntress's abilities are agile, meaning I can sprint while they happen, meaning again, we're going to look for Wongus, and we're going to hopefully not have to worry about damage against us. We'll be all healing, all safe, and all smart, and we'll live. Stage four, we get Siren's Call. Oh my, look at the speed on this guy. Uh, why did I do one damage? Why was that a thing? Why? Hey, why am I doing a uh, singular damage? Oh, there we go. Now we're doing... Oh my god, look at the backup mags. Oh, that was so loud. Alley Worship Unit is in, of course. I don't really know what counts as their backup bag. Like, what is an Alloy Worship secondary ability? I have no idea. I'm just throwing mine. That's all I'm doing. Innocently just throwing my backup mags. Nothing to worry about. It's working quite well. <laughs> I can't lie. Working quite well. We have Alloy Worship or Alloy Vultures flying around the place. These two buffoons just hanging out. That was good. For our red, I'm going to grab it. Grab Bro, you're telling me larvas can sprint and make use of the Lil D? Alright, that's it. We're going for only pure items that only help me. Sprint only. Sprint can. Rose Buckler we're looking for on kill effects. Anything that helps enemies, I will not be doing. Larva, obviously, I've just learned that they can sprint. We will be avoiding larva stages at all costs. I think I will still get Lil Disciple. Jesus Christ, Wisps, or er, Blind Pest. You guys are just way too strong. Anything that I can do to minimize death, we will now be taking to the maximum. And we're starting off the Realm of the Red. This is incredible news. Now, the red we want, right? We gotta pick a good one because I simply cannot be having enemies on my side. It's just not gonna work out. Though I do think for this run... We're going to change a little bit. I don't want to get too cheeky. I am going to grab one gesture of the drowned so that I can have my Jade Elephant up at all times. For my red, to start, I'm either I'm going to do maybe an on kill effect. I might do head stompers again. Honestly, hard to say. Let's just start with head stompers because I know we're going to be having a lot of speed. And head stompers can kill most certainly. Here we go. We have a void cradle. You know we're going to grab our little mushrooms. You know we're grabbing Wongus if possible. What do we got in here? We do. We have Wongus. Now we have extra healing. So enemies shouldn't be able to do as much. Hopefully enemies again cannot take use of this. But now I'm almost sure I died to a little D. So I got to be careful. Okay. Ready for teleporter. I did grab uh, quails and head stompers. So we do have that combo now. If we so choose to use it. I don't know if we will. I don't know if we'll need to. Beetle Queen is... Boop, boop, boop. Just do... Actually, we're going to do one of those. Get a yellow item, of course. Going to be super helpful. Let's grab 10 Hopu Feathers. So we really have a, a bunch of control in the air. And now I have to decide. Do I want to risk the Little Disciple? I am not sure. I'm thinking we're going to go for it. The only reason we're going to go for it is... Be Did I not pick it up? There we go. Uh, the only reason I'm going for it is because I'm going to stack so much armor and damage reduction. Uh, you've never seen anything like it. And now we have the big healing. Uh, oops, 130 Wongus. That'll do the trick. I got to stop doing that. Uh, our speed is a little fast for me to control. But we have good items. Everything should be set. We're off to stage 2 teleporter, wherever that is. And everything's going well so far. Dare I say, swimmingly. Okay, we are going to grab a singular gesture of the drowned. I want to see what that does. If we grab one of these, our Jade Elephant... Okay, yeah. So it's always up our... Monster items are shifting around greatly, and I'm going to turn the game sound way down. Okay, so now the game sound is, like, ridiculously quiet. So now it's just you and me. You and me chilling, you and me hanging. Let's grab a little desk plant just for that healing. How much damage do we do to the new? 
absolutely nothing. All right, let's move on. All right, well, I gave my equipment to an equipment drone by accident, and then I found other equipment. So we are back in action. Let's get our super speed going and get the Clay Dune Striders out of here. One is on a mission somewhere else, sir. I'm going to have to ask you to stay near the teleporter radius. We get another green. I've really just been stacking... <gasps> Oh, I was worried about that shot. Really, I've just been stacking Rose Bucklers. It's actually crazy how it's the only thing I've been stacking. I'm tempted to get more Lil D's, right? We did get Newt, so we can avoid, hopefully, anything with Larva. We're looking for Abyssal Depths is really all we need. Our speed might be a little bit too fast, right? We're, we're kind of cruising a little speedily. But we can still control it, and that's all that matters. Mr. Newt, thank you just so much for giving me Abyssal Depths. Here's the thing, do I want any of these? Maybe we do this, we just get rid of three random white items, then we take some regen scrap and go bop bop. That will then multiply, we'll have infinite regen scrap, cool, cool, cool. We already have head stompers. I don't know what else we wanna risk in this zone. I think I'll grab Wake of Vultures. Obviously enemies can't use that at all. Let's do it, let's do ceremonial dagger for now. I'm gonna need something to go against Mithrix. That's gonna be kind of important, I need some sort of damage and of course we have head stompers but that on its own i don't know is that really enough hard to say because one mistake we've made is that mythrix one can sprint and two is really fast so <laughs> i'm a little worried about just how good mythrix is going to be with the items that we have here but hopefully we can just kind of fend him off okay our legendary on stage four i don't even really know what we want here i'm gonna do frost relic again on kill stuff as much on kill stuff as we can do and that is going to be key we have 90 rose bucklers now hoping for you know a little bit over 100 by the time we leave i've been stacking armor piercing rounds too that's a massive oversight on my part against mythrix that's going to make things way easier all right so this teleporter fight should be simple it should be as easy as little disciple and some armor piercing rounds what do we got magma worm that's it that was quick. Wow, now I just have to survive it. Obviously, we just took some damage from somewhere, and that is scary. So I'm just going to be max speeding. Our armor is massively huge. You can't see it on the right side of the screen because of how scuffed everything is over there. But just trust me, it's big. Is this currently my teleporter strategy? Yeah. Am, am I literally just sprinting into a wall, and that's all I'm doing? Also, yeah, that's, yeah, you're, you're correct. Stage five has begun. All right, what do we got around here? I see you. Yeah, I mean, we're going to do a lot of damage. We didn't kill. Okay, that's a little bit concerning. That's a little bit concerning that we didn't kill. Not going to lie. Okay, I picked up a brain stalks from a, a large chest, and we're going to go into teleporter right now. We have 100 grand, so I might as well do this earlier rather than later. Z construct, done gone i'm gonna do this earlier rather than later because now we can loot the stage loot the stage in peace i don't have to worry about anything killing us we're just gonna run in circles until we reach 100 and we're out of here okay the moon begins we have 190 armor piercing rounds we have off to check the other items when we get in there we have good items we have 160 uh rose bucklers we are lagging quite a bit i'll be totally honest i'm not really sure why i'm not loving it Hopefully it doesn't become a huge issue. It's not awful. I can still see okay But let's see if we can get it to Mythrix and let's just start this thing. I'm a little worried But uh, we just have to begin here. We go. We are lining up our frames seem to be mostly okay It's a it's actually now we're pretty good now Mythrix here. We go. I need to time this Just right. Ooh, I was early. I was early. That's really unfortunate. Oh, I did hit him like once. I got rid of his opal. His opal is coming back. Ooh. I'm going to let you know right now. The Rose Bucklers did absolutely nothing. All right, we're going back in. I revived myself and I got rid of the little disciple, okay? Because he's moving clearly too fast for me to be able to survive any little disciple he throws at me. But my good. Hey, Mythrix. Hey, Mythrix. 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 Hey. Hey, my dude. We hit him once. <laughs> Okay, this I've realized might be a problem. There might be an issue here. And the issue, quite frankly, is that he might be a little too fast. I wonder if I can get him stuck on a wall. If I can get him stuck on some kind of wall like this, if I can get him stuck in here, we're in a much better spot. I don't know if I'm able to do that, 
but I'm gonna try. Oh, he stopped. He stopped. Okay, damage, damage, damage. We did some damage here. That's good. That's good. How much damage do we need to do? I mean, he's gonna instantly heal back up. You can see his health going up now. Because we don't have the little disciple, his health is just gonna go up because the Wungus, that's the problem. I need to continue to do consistent damage like that. We have the armor piercing rounds. As long as he kind of tries to swing at me, we're going to be okay. But his speed is a little much. Okay, I've taken away both of all of our speed. We now, neither of us have any speed. Uh, wax quails are gone. I still have feathers, uh, but wax quails, gone. Speed, gone. Goat hooves, gone. Or energy drinks, gone. Uh, everything that relates to speed is gone. And we can stay in the air and just deal with this the old-fashioned way. This was probably the way to do it from the beginning. Let's be honest, okay? Let's be honest with ourselves. This is kind of more of an experiment at this point. You would think with that many rose bucklers and this many jade elephants, we'd be good. Uh, you'd be wrong. And you can see even now he's still gaining health from where? No idea. But you can see every time I do damage to him, uh, he refills a little bit, which is a terrifying thought that he cannot be killed. I should be taking Head Stomper out of here. I'm thinking maybe if I just did Head Stomper at the beginning, maybe it covers the whole arena. That I'm not sure about. I don't think it does. But let me go try it. We're going to go really high into the air, Mr. Mythrix. And I'm coming back down. I am coming back to... Okay, so that didn't do... That actually gained him health, I think. That, for some reason, his health went up after I hit him. I'm just going to Ballista. You know what I mean? We're just going to Ballista. It's just that simple. Can we beat Mythrix like this? Would we have beaten a normal stage with this kind of uh, a build? I don't know. I don't think we would have. Potentially, maybe, but it's debatable all right phase one is down phase two is going to begin this is going to be i think easier yeah okay okay thank goodness this part's easier because i was very concerned about how this was going to go uh oh we're done oh it's finished can we spawn before i shoot these dang that is unfortunate phase three begins yo where did that damage come from hello that must have... I don't I don't know what just happened. That damage was crazy. We can pretty much finish phase three now. I don't know what that damage came from, but god damn. He's gonna pizza in a second. I might... Uh, actually, hold on. If I'm sprinting, we're fine. If I'm sprinting, we can just tank these and I'm not worried about it at all. Because our Jade Elephant and our sprinty guys. Other than that... Oh, it's because Mythrix was sprinting. And once Mythrix is done sprinting, we're good. Phase four is a whole other debacle. Do all of his items double? I truly have no idea. I really don't know. Uh, I am going to activate my Jade Elephant. We're going to hit him with Head Stompers. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. That's cool, that's cool. We're doing some damage, that's for sure. We have our Hopu Feathers. We have our Healing. Our Healing is big. We just need to stay consistent here. And everything should be fine. I don't know why I stood still. Oh, we're fine. We don't have any procs. That's a good thing. That is why we did it. And we're just, I mean, we're just finishing the job now. It should be relatively simple. I just need another ballista to pop up. Let me shoot it. Oh, oh, hey now. Boom, boom, boom. We get our rose bucklers back. And now we can just kind of do this. We, we can get hit by whatever I want and we are fine. I am almost sure of it as long as we are sprinting. That is going to be the important part. And Mythrix, finish the job. Oh, well. We didn't get APR back, so uh, give me a second here. We need to get armor-piercing rounds back, and then we'll be okay to go. Uh, just need those. Where are they? And the up. There we go. That, that'll do it. That will finish the job. The right side of our screen. Freaking out. Very glitchy. It did not like the times 10 multiplier, but hey, what can you do? So I'm be honest. The game did not like whatever I just did. It did not like me getting through Mythics like that, so I might end the video while we go to the ship unfortunately it was indeed a loss we did not win this challenge however a video has got to come out and i still hope you enjoyed if you want to see me attempt this challenge again i'll do it on stream so if you want me to do it let me know in the comments below if you guys show this video a lot of support i will attempt it once more in the stream but with that being said i hope you all enjoyed i hope my game is okay and i'll see you next time